This dude, Steve Stout. I would have loved to talk to these dudes about this, but I don't want them, Steve Stout, to be mad at them. So it's best that I do this solo because I don't give a hoot about Steve Clout Stout. Yeah. I don't know if any of y'all got a chance to see his interview with uh, Shannon Sharp. But uh, he went up there. He talked about a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm really more uh, inclined to talk about what he said about Dane because, you know, I lived that. I was a part of Rockefeller at that time. And the shit that he spoke on. He mentioned me. He didn't say my name, but he said they ain't running around with cameras and I'm it wasn't cameras, it was camera, right? So um for him to say that Dane was running around with women and cams cameras and going all over the world. And first of all, there were no women traveling with us. You know what I'm saying? One, Aaliyah had died not too long ago. So he was still emotional wreck about that. And he was still with Rachel Roy, who was actually pregnant. Wow. Dane was with Aaliyah, uh, with Ava. So Dane wasn't running around with no bunch of women with us. That that is that's one hundred percent straight cap. Now we met women with throughout our travels. Yeah, did we travel with women? Hell no. Right, but before I get to the Dane stuff, let me just tell you all the other. Bullshit, Steve Stout was saying, right? Steve Stout had the nerve to say, Okay, so Steve Stout had the nerve to say, one, that he started Sneaker or Dirt. Sneaker endorsement deals. He started that. I started that. I started that. Now, we all know that Run DMC had an endorsement deal with Adidas way back, right? So we know he's not the first person to do an endorsement deal, right? LL Cool J had a deal with Troop after Run DMC did with Adidas. I think MC Hammer might have had a deal with kang uh, Kangaroos. I can't even remember. But there's a bunch of people flex with Uggs, baby with Uggs. All this is before Steve Stout and Jay-Z in 2000, goddamn, three, four, five, six, somewhere. These things had been done, endorsement deals or partnerships with sneaker companies way back then. So he didn't start shit. That's that's the first bullshit story he told, right? Second bullshit, well, he told a lot of bullshit. But the, the other bullshit that he told outside of, you know, Dane was the nigga said, yo, Reeboks, I said lugs, right? 
what I said. I said what I said. Uggs. I might have said Uggs. Well, Lugs, whatever the fuck, right? Uh, he tried to say, he told Shannon, Shannon Stout. I mean, Shannon, uh, he told uh, Shannon, yo, you know that, uh, Shannon Shaw, you know that uh, Reeboks, you know, before I did the deal with Jay, Reeboks was Skips. You know what Skips are, right? Like no frills, bearing sneakers that nobody wore. I, yeah, I said Uggs. I meant Lugs. My bad, y'all. Right? He said Reeboks was skips. So nobody wore Reeboks before Jay-Z. Ladies. Can y'all tell him about the 5411 Reeboks? Fellas, can y'all tell his lane about the Reebok Classics? We wasn't wearing Reeboks before Jay-Z. Before them fake-ass Gucci sneakers. This thing is tripping. I mean, let me show y'all some old Reeboks. So y'all telling me, Steve Stout, you telling me these wasn't the shit back in the days? <coughs> huh? <coughs> these wasn't the shit back in the days? The 5411s? You ever heard DMX say 5411s, 11 and girls? So the 5411s, was it nobody, no, none of the girls was wearing these before 2003. How about these Reeboks? How many of y'all remember these? Nobody was wearing Reeboks. Reeboks was skips. Skips, they wouldn't have been Reeboks if they were Skips. So we wasn't wearing the Reebok classes back in the days. Uh, Steve Stout. We wasn't wearing these. We wasn't wearing the Reebok classes back in the days. Man, shut up, nigga. You so full of crap, Reeboks with skips. This nigga's tripping. Oh, let's not even talk about the Reebok pumps. We nobody was wearing the Reebok pumps. Nigga said Reeboks was skips. What about these, Steve Stout? Nobody was wearing Reeboks. Reeboks was skips. This thing is full of shit, y'all. So we wasn't rocking Reebok pumps?
This thing is full of shit, bro. He can tell that to Shannon Sharp, because Shannon Sharp, he may not know no better. He was the first one to do an Adidas deal. He was the first one to do a sneaker deal. Even at the Run DMC, LL Cool J had the Troop deal. He had a partnership with Troop. This nigga's bugging out, y'all. Go to LL sneakers right here. So I'm letting these, these dudes talk to y'all like we didn't live it. Like, come on, brother. Stop trying to talk to us like we didn't live it, man. Please, man. He was the first one to do endorsement deals. Or like Carl Canal wasn't doing deals with everybody. He was the first one doing brand marketing. What? Let me tell you something, Steve Stout. When I was a producer on Rap City, let me tell you about brand marketing. I'm part of the reason Nietzsche was so big. I had a deal with Tony Shellman. He used to pay me. And I used to get goddamn the host on Rap City to wear the clothes. Niggas would pay me, I would pay the host. You talking about branding, product placement, the magazines on the table, Black Men Magazine and all of them, they was paying me. And I'm putting that shit on the set. Jewelers paying me. And I got this host wearing they jewelry and shit, giving them shout outs. Nigga, you ain't do nothing. I was doing that right under BT's eyes. The host was making more money than they checked fucking with me. <laughs> 